Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am back with, let's see, part three of the garden journal, of the binder garden journal. So we are getting there on our um, scrapbooking paper. We've got, we're getting there on that, but we've got much to go. I did get all the sewing done on what we had done so far. So, um, so we're good there. We'll look at all of that in a minute. But first, I have a really special hi and hugs. So um, I would like to say hi and hugs to Adam from Ireland, your sweet girlfriend, Haley. Haley's in the UK. Haley messaged me and let me know that, that you two are doing the long distance relationship thing and um but that you watch my videos together and i just think that is the coolest thing ever so hi and hugs and much love to adam and Haley. you two hang in there you'll be together again before you know it so yeah isn't that fun gets me a little twitter pated it's just so cute okay so we are going to work on this um so I had said I might not sew around them all. I ended up sewing around them all. Um, I just like how it looks. And uh, so straight stitched around quite a few of them. Oh, these are the ones that I didn't, just the flip outs. I didn't sew around those. Um, Could have, but I just didn't. Let's see, that's the pocket that when we made it, we went ahead and sewed around. Um, I was going to show, and, and I did it just a straight stitch here, and then I did the leaf stitch across the top. So I did the leaf stitch where I could, what with it being a garden journal and all. This one's just zigzagged. And I didn't sew around these little cards either, the little flip out cards. Didn't do that either. So that kind of, that catches you up. This one's just a little straight and a couple of zigzag little making it, making it a little fun. This one, once again, has the leaves at the bottom. You can probably, probably see that better, the leaves there. And then on the side here, I did leaves too. Okay, that one's not. That one is just a straight stitch this the belly band where the belly band was i put um i put uh, zigzag and then the rest of it is the straight stitch and then i think we're down to this is the last one it's got some strings i need to get off there yeah and did the leaf stitch there a little bit too so let's figure out where we're at and what we want to do here. Okay, we have, what do we have left? I'm gonna scooch my sewing machine because again, I'll do that off camera. Um, okay, our little, we haven't done anything with this one. I'm not quite sure what to do with this one but we'll figure something out and then i think we're into all of our um all of our duplicates yeah okay well the first thing that strikes me is that these four together could be kind of cool just you know in the middle of a page or something yeah, let's let's get to cutting. I'm gonna set this over. Okay. Well, I'm actually filming this ahead because um, I am not going to be able to. You know, usually there's a few days a week that I do two videos so that. I'm not then um, filming on the weekend. I just hang out with Mike on the weekends and do other things in my craft room besides film. And, but Tuesday, I have a little appointment, so 
I'm not going to be able to do two videos on Tuesday, so I thought I would do this one ahead. My appointment, I can't even hardly believe it, and I'm almost scared to say it out loud for jinxing it, but it's with the county to get my little, get my little vaccine. So, God willing, and it all goes as it's supposed to, I'll be vaccinated. <laughs> oh, so excited. I feel like I won the lottery. I honestly do. So let's see. We're going to need four holes in this one way or the other, aren't we? Whether we go top or bottom. I kind of like it down here better. Oh, you know what else I wanted to check? Hang on one second. I also wanted to check how full we're getting. Okay, I think, I think we're still okay. I may just go flat pages. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm we're a little worried about getting too getting too full because we we don't even have anything in here for um uh we don't have anything in here to write on. That's what I'm trying to spit out and can't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so I've been pretty hyper today after after that because it wasn't easy. It was not easy. Um, I sat on the computer after the website opened for 25 minutes hitting confirm, confirm, confirm for 25 minutes and it kept coming up. This site is too busy. Try again soon. And But I just stayed there and kept pressing the button and eventually it went boom, confirmed. I'm just like, are you kidding me? Oh man. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to spread these out a little and there may not be one on every single section just because I feel like um, it's just, I think it's going to get too thick. I was kind of looking. Okay, there's a pretty one. Okay, so I am going to take this one out. And I'm going to put this like this and put that, let's see, we have one, we have one there, so, okay, this one doesn't have any in it, so I'll put that in there. Okay, so that 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 where was that one right here so let's do one two three four let's see what's here mm. let's move this one and move it back here somewhere Okay. Ooh, that would actually look really pretty there, wouldn't it? I think it would bring out some of the yellows there. Yeah. Okay, and then so then and then we have one there. One there. We skip one, two. Okay, I think that's I think that's spread out pretty good. Okay, I feel good about that. And then um, and then these I think can just be stuck in the pockets and stuff. So 
let's cut those apart. Then I like to start looking at the books and the um, looking at books and looking at magazine pages and stuff like that. So all these can be written on, so that's good. Glad about that. I'll just get them cut and ready since we've got the cutter right at hand. But yeah, I was I was so hyper after doing all of that that Mike and I had to go for a walk. I couldn't stand it. it was just, oh goodness. These are super cute. These might be um, these little stamp things. Sorry, I'm probably way off camera. Are probably going to be so cute on a as a decoration. But finally, I settled down enough. I said to Mike, "I need to I need to be productive." So let's let's just get a video done and then I won't have to worry about that on Tuesday. Okay, so let me get down here. One of the things that I definitely want to use one of these because they have writing space, you know? So... How is it made pretty? Okay, so how's that going to work with our template? Okay, we're just going to lose a little of the edge. If we cut that edge, what do we have here? Okay, it still leaves all the writing, all the writing spot though. So I think what I'll do is take May and June out of this book. Or do I just want to take one page? Or just have a whole month. That'd be kind of nice. So that's three pages. That'd be so seven pages. Okay. Okay, I can see the little, I need my little scissors. I can see the little um, threads. I think that's a thread. Is that a thread? Yes. So maybe if I can get those. It'll pull out super easy. Okay. Oh, there's one more. Oops. Hopefully. Oh, one more. clean that page up a little bit. Then June, June, June. July. Okay. So we have gorgeous weather here today. I don't know what the temperature is, but after we got home from our walk, I was so hot in my coat. So, it's definitely warming up. That is for certain. Okay, so these I'm gonna have to cut. This one. This one has to tear. Ugh. Not wow. 
well either. It's really glued. Okay. That's okay. Um, so this one we need to cut. I like the idea, though, of being able to do kind of maybe the garden planning for this year in here or something. May and June. Okay. So that's good. And then this guard or this nature notes one already has has writing in it. So that's not as good, is it? But I could pick and choose pages from that to use like next next time but see like the the picture on May is the same so good I think we're done with these so I'll set those aside let's just see about getting the pages see this one's all raggedy so I'm gonna Cut that off. And then, let's see, and I had one more page like that, the one that we tore out, so. This page, that one's not too bad, okay. Oops, what am I doing? When I say, what am I doing, do you answer me or do <laughs> Or do you just shake your head that why would she ask? Because she can't hear us when we answer. Oh, my goodness. So, you guys, the thing is, is that if all goes as planned, I keep saying, um, for Tuesday, then... I will be able to go to my retreats. And I'm so excited about that. So. And I didn't think the, the one at the end of uh, April, beginning of May, I didn't think I was going to get to go to because I didn't think I would get an appointment by then but so um, I have to do some videos around that like when I get ready and stuff I haven't done that for a long time because well obviously not for a year but I mean even before that for a long time Okay, that one. Oh, goes here. May. And then where's the end of I guess that's the end. Okay. And this one. Then this one. And then this one. I think that's how it goes. Okay, so let's get these cut to the proper size. I think height-wise, they're good. They're smaller than so, but um, but we need to go. I think I can probably cut three at a time. We need to um, chop off this end. Of the papers. Okay. Good, good. I'm just looking. See, there's some good, there's some good stuff I better keep for collages and stuff. Okay, and then three more. goes. 
Okay. Shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oops. That wasn't great. Okay. Couple of little pieces on that that would be worth saving. enough they're good enough oh and then we have to punch them all don't we I tell you guys Okay, um, yeah, I don't know what I tell you. I said I tell you, and I don't know what I tell you. I think I'm going to have those to the bottom, kind of. Probably should empty my punch, too, huh? Oh, I know what I tell you. It this these kind of journals take a while. They really do. So I hope you're not sorry you asked me to do a start to finish. <laughs> because there's an awful lot of punching and doing. But So, so, so. So tomorrow we have our granddaughter Katie's volleyball tournament. Um, and then the next weekend, Addie has one. And then, oh, the other thing was my son told me that his daughter's dance recital is the first weekend of June. That was the other thing I was thinking. So that one's a ways off, but just so much fun to have that grandkids stuff to kind of keep us, keep us busy. Alrighty then, back to our book. Let's see. Okay, so there's like, what, seven of those, did I say, by 20? So like maybe every three pages or something. So I'm going to start with one. I'm going to put that in here. One. And then one, two, three. Three, and we'll put it in the fourth one. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Let's put it here, and then this will kind of look cute with the text. Okay, and then one, two, three, and put it in this fourth one. Oops, I want that here. See, that'll look cute. Okay, one, two, three, and put it in the fourth. Two, 
three. I have four left. So that's not working out quite right. So I'm just gonna go, I have four more left. I have too many left. There's a lot of guessing by golly here. By guessing by golly, isn't that what my mom used to say? Okay. I have the first one here, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in the third one, which is this great because it doesn't have the construction paper or the scrapbook paper. Okay, and then one, two, and put it in three. Good. This is happening in a good way because one, two, three. Those didn't have um, anything anyway. And look how cute that looks like with that. Okay, one, two, three. One, two. Okay, I'm going to put one here. And I guess what I'll do is I actually kind of want to leave this one with nothing behind it just because it's good and sturdy. And I think that might be good. So I'm going to put that one there. Okay. So we have those in there. I'm always checking to see how fat it's getting or not getting. Okay. So then let's look at this. This little box of goodies and see what's in here. Because I figure I might as well use things that are already torn out first, right? Does that make sense? Okay, so the cards we may not use right now. Okay, these we could. And we'll think about those. Okay. There's this. Oh, we've got cute. Those will be cute. Okay. I want to put this in, this little envelope. That'll be good, and we can put something on the inside of that. And we'll do one of these sacks. And I think I can just punch the holes. Is that? Yes. And just punch the holes in that, so that'll be cute. Okay. How are we doing for time, okay? Yeah, we're just at a half hour. Good. Okay, I need to move up a little bit. I see I'm kind of off. Okay, these are going to be super cute to decorate. These are just, oh, they're like, they're like dictionary pages is what they are. Put those with that. This is a beautiful page. Um, These are in a different language. I'm not sure, but oh, those are so cool though. Okay. There's three of those. I think I might have to cut them off right here, but then I can use that somewhere else. But aren't those cool being in a different language? All right.
Those are really cool, but they're so big that I don't know that they'll fit. I must have got these in a kit. There's some more of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Aren't those cool? So cool. Okay, but here's what I'm thinking is I think I'll put all this in and then I need to put in things that can be written on as well. So done with these. These we still need to use. Okay. My hands are cold, guys. It's so cold down here. <sighs> okay, so these will be for in the decorating phase more so. Okay, so this I'm just going to needs four. So I might put it at the top only because I feel like I've put a lot of things at the bottom. So, still haven't emptied, have I? Do it after this one while I'm thinking about it. Sorry guys, this is tedious, this part. Okay. Ooh, gosh. They broke loose after I'd taken it out of the garbage can, of course. <laughs> okay, so that's ready. Um, let's do this. Okay, that one's ready to go. Now this one, it might be a little tricky. Is it, oh, it's the right size, so that's good. I'm thinking I might shave a bit off of that. And if the holes are a bit into the flowers, that's okay. Then it's kind of like nearly the whole page that we get to get to do. Okay. And these little pages, oh yeah, they'll fit. They're kind of cool too. Okay. I feel like I don't have much to talk about because I already told you the big news in our lives. So I feel like these are, I don't think they're coffee dyed. Maybe they got, maybe they got a little bit wet or something. <laughs> okay, so we have to kind of go like, so, oh, I have something exciting. My daffodils are coming up. We were, um, 
outside just kind of looking things over as the snow's melting and stuff and sure enough just barely some little le daffodil leaves are coming up but I was like yay okay so there's that hope I did that right okay now these what I was thinking is of cutting them off right here and I think that's what we probably need to do so let's do that and I'll put these little um, I'll put these little boxes with whatever's in them I'll put that back into my project box and we can use those for something at some point because they have I think I, I think these came from Switzerland. I'm trying to remember my friend's shop there. Oh my gosh, my brain. You know, it's the one with all the trims and everything. Ugh, can't think of it. We haven't been in touch for a while, so. I better only do three at a time, I'm guessing. Okay. I'm going to have to look up her shop and message her. Because we used to talk all the time and just haven't been. Just not enough time in the day sometimes. Let's see. I think I'm going to do this side. in and then I'm going to need to think about what it is we're going to put in for writing pages wasn't wanting to do that one I probably went through my template a little bit is what happened okay so let's put these in the book Checking the time. Let's see, 20 minutes. 5, 10, 15. Okay. 25, 10. Okay. So I know I have like 6, 10, 11, 12, 13 of these pages. So what for sure, we'll put them where there isn't an Edith Holden. I might put this one here. Isn't that pretty against that? Yeah. Okay. I'll do this one. And one with a flower. Don't have any purple flowers. Okay. <laughs> try to okay that's got Edith Holden I'm going to try not to use doing that and undoing it hurts my arthritic finger so one which one of these that's super bright would be good kind of like that one okay and then we gotta put something in there yep okay and that's got an Edith Holden this one doesn't 
And this one would be pretty against it, wouldn't it? Although, who knows when we put our writing pages in. We might, we might change things up a bit. Who knows? Okay. Edith Holden. a little color there. Edith Holden. And this one. And this one has Edith. Yep. And that one has Edith. I think I'll put it at the back. Okay, so we did that. Checking, checking how full again. Doing well. All right, so then um, let me grab, let me grab this. This is just uh, like a Oh, one of those journals you get at TJ Maxx and that, and then I've just coffee dyed the pages. But I was thinking about maybe putting that, and then I have these pages um, from a different one. And these have flowers on them. You know, I kind of like to have 20 pages. That's what I'm thinking. So if I have 10 of these, don't know if I have that many. Already done that. Already cut those. Okay, would I have four? Five. Nine and ten. I can get 
that will be the cart. Ten. Okay, so I just have to cut those in half. And I could put those in. And those would be fun. And then these look a little bit different, I feel like. So we could put like one up higher and one lower. You know, like that or something. Okay, so. So what I'll do is off camera, I'll cut these and, and, and cut these down and punch them and everything, but I'll do that off camera. And it looks like I need to do another one of these, which I get them periodically, especially if they're on sale, and then just spray coffee on them and then leave them in the sun to dry. It's awesome. Okay, and then we'll see if we can come up with some other interesting writing papers. Um, I was thinking I could use some colored paper in there. Um, colored paper and... wonder if I have enough grid paper. If I have enough grid paper, grid paper would be good for like plotting out your garden, right? Um, and then of course coffee died, but, but yeah. I have to show you this. I made this yesterday, this um, journal card. I love that. I wonder if that would fit in the belly band here. Can't remember where it's at, do you? It's in, on here somewhere. In here somewhere. Not there. There it is. I just think that's so pretty. I, I love how that turned out. Yeah, that will I'd almost use something a little fatter, though. But that will fit somewhere. I mean, it'd be super cute. Look at me starting to think about decorating. I mean, how cute is that? Okay, well, we got to finish the pages. So, um... I don't know that the pages will be all that exciting. I might try and get the pages, the writing pages in. And of course, I'll show you what I do. But it's just going to be more, you know, evening up edges, making them the right size, and punching holes. So maybe I'll do that on my own. I think that would be okay, don't you? Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. And um, I hope you have a grateful day. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.